Greetings friends. Over the last few days I've been investing time in bomb work for the open ventilator project, the KiCad version of the Medtronic uh, PB650. Okay. I want to talk about one of the major bomb issues. The major bomb issue, one of the biggest bomb issues at the moment is the oxygen proportional valve. Okay, which is a custom part. Okay, the custom part. This is a custom part. If we go to issues. Okay. One can see that the supplier is not prepared to supply any third party with this valve and it is a, a problem. Okay. Okay, without the direct approval from Medtronics. Okay. Okay. Off, off, over the last week, number weeks that people have been looking for a solution for this product without too much success. Okay. Yesterday, I yesterday morning, I reached out to people I know at Medtronics to see if we can find out if there's any way of getting the original part, or them not having Medtronic allowing the group to source the original part. Uh, my friends haven't got back to me about it. Okay. Okay. Yesterday, somebody in Canada, okay, who is working for a company which is working in partnership with Medtronics, they approved a substitute part. This substitute part is an RHL207. H fifty O. Okay. Okay. Which gets me to the current issue. The original part had a hundred and fifty ohm coil on it, and the substitute part has got a fifty ohm coil. Okay, so the issue was raised via the lead person Seth on changing the fuse, changing the fuse for the O2 replacement. Okay, I will now move to the position of the fuse in the circuit diagram. Okay, there is a 500 milliamp fuse in the circuit, and if you and if your if your valve is going to take off the 24 volt line, off the 24 volt line, it's going to take 500 milliamps. You're going to blow your fuse because you have other circuitry also on the line. So he was talking about increasing this fuse F2. Okay. I showed you what we're talking about off the 24 volt line. Okay. Off the 24 volt line after the fuse. 
Okay. So my comment is that if we take, if we're upping the current on the F2 valve, we're upping the current to approximately 500 milliampers. Okay. I'm not sure that the BSF 170 is going to handle the extra current. It's only a SOT 23 device. I might be right, I might be wrong, but it's a question if the SOT, if, if this is going to be able to handle the extra current. Okay. Fourteen hours ago, my comment was that it might be a better idea to take the power off twenty-four volt utils or off J seven pin three or twenty-three. What am I saying here? Okay. 24 volt utils util is a 24 volt before the fuse. Uh, a solenoid isn't 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 a device which is going to worry about uh, regulation. So to take it off before the fuse is not a bad idea, and to that way deal with it instead of having your 24 volt coming off it's coming off the 24 volt utils the problem is 24 volt util is on the opposite side of the board 24 volt util is on the opposite side of the board i'm going to come back to the 24 volt util in a few seconds but you'd have to take the bore uh, take a trace all the way across relatively thick trace to the other side of the board okay 424 volt util or i would take it around the side as okay as we have a 24 volt plane, the outside we can take the the 24 volt to the valve to the O2 valve. Okay. I'm now let me go back to where we are here. Okay. I show T20. T20 D15, the 24 volt, the EMF, the back, the back EMF diode, and the valve going to the valve. So if I go onto the physical circuit, okay, I'm now heading to the physical circuit. Here is, here is the SOT23. A SOT23 is, is the driving, trans, tra, driving transistor. This is T20. Here's your diode. And after that diode, it is going all the way across the board for about 10 centimeters to a coil and a small capacitor to your valve. If I'm going to look at it at, on a 3D view, if I'm looking at this on a 3D view, it takes a few seconds, it's not a small board. Here is T20, 
Here is the back EMF diode in this area, in this area here. Okay. Okay. So what I was saying was, on your left, I have D15 and T20. Okay. On the right, I have J21 and the, and the O2 valve. So I, I have an inter... All the way... I got all the way across on an 8 mil trace on an internal layer. Okay. I didn't design this board and possibly that the current for the original part didn't require more than an 8 mil trace. Okay. I'm going to move back to the 2D view. Two D view. One can see the trace going through, and this trace is point two ten millimeters, which is less, which is about eight moles metric. Okay, not to waste time. I have open satin PCB. Satin PCB. Satin PCB with temperature rise of of ten on an eight mil trace. Ten cent for four thousand moles is ten centimeters roughly. Is gonna have a is gonna have a maximum current of 0.45. If I allow it a 20 degree temperature rise, which for an inter which is not great for a, for a, for a medical device, I can get to 0.6 amps. Okay. It is okay, but not great. Judging by the fact that this is not an on-off, it's pulse width modulated. It's more than likely okay on an eight mil trace. Okay. What did I want to say about this? Okay. Okay, I have now moved to the top of the board. The top of the board, if one's going to look at it in this point in here, I've come in. To where the power comes into the board the power comes into the board on this connector here okay i'm going to go back to my 2d view okay and i'm going to go back to the 2d view and one can see 24 volt util 24 volt util it's the opposite end of the board it is the opposite end of the board to the O2 valve and if you're not forced to do this I don't think it should be done okay I'm looking at connect at connector okay connector J7 okay Control F J seven. Okay, J seven comes in. 
J7, which we said is the power into the board. The power into the board comes in from ex externally. And externally, pin 3 and pin 23. Pin 3 and pin 23 are your power into the board. Your power into the board would be pin 3 and pin 23. So one could take either of pin 3 or pin 23 before this coil or after this coil, uh, 24 volt out. This would be when I said utils and even before utils. Okay, even before util, one could take 24 volt to power the to power the O2 valve. Okay. Now let's go back to what I wrote on the forum. Okay, we looked at T20. We looked at this, which is a little bit suspect on an 8 mole trace going for 10 centimeters, but it will it will live. It's about 50, if it would be 100% on, it would be about a 15 degree temperature rise on this line. Not the end of the world. Okay. So 14 hours ago, my comment was the original part had a, I think it was a, not sure if it's a 540 or 140 ohm coil because the two versions of this that would have less current and here on a 50 ohm the replacement coils have 50 ohms so 50 ohms on 24 is a 500 milliamps 500 milliamps 25 volts, 50 ohms, 500 milliamps, give or take. So I was saying that you're better off taking it off uh, 24 volt util or pin 7, use J7, pin 3 or pin 23. Okay, just a quick update. Just a quick update on stuff I've looked at on this project of my bomb work. The idea is to make this project 100% open source and sourceable for anyone who wants to do it, anyone who wants to build a this P, PB650 from Medtronics. Once again, we are anyone who builds it needs to know that they are compliant with the license given out by Medtronics and everything that goes along with it. Thank you for your time and I hope you're having a good day.